Japanese toilet technology is amazing. The seat is super warm, and once you're done, clear water flows down smoothly to wash everything away. But imagine if the flushing function is broken. Dirty water will start to accumulate, and it's horrible. A functional draining system is that important. Similarly, inside our liver, a draining pipe that flows toxic acid from the liver to intestine is important. This draining pipe is called bile duct. Bile duct dysfunction is the leading cause of liver damage in newborn babies in developed country. Without liver transplant, one out of three babies will not survive waiting for liver donor. Stem cell therapy is a promising solution to avoid needing liver transplant. The concept is simple. Imagine a lizard with detached tail, which then regrow a new tail using its stem cells. Our research group is pioneer in successfully regrowing liver function by implanting liver organoid. Organoid is an artificial organ-like structure grown in a dish using stem cells as its building block. Unfortunately, our organoid is still missing in the bile duct draining pipe. Since bile duct stem cells already present sparsely inside, all we need to do is to organize the location to form a pipe which is the objective of my research. Yet, it's not that simple. Many researchers had attempted to put these cells together by using external forces, but the pipe is not stable. Therefore, I'm exploring a brand new approach. Rather than using force, I'm trying to attract these stem cells using its natural trigger, just like attracting thousand bees by using nectar. Now, let me tell you how. Step one is to know what the right nectar is. By observing how bile ducts start to form in baby mice, I finally found the nectar. Bile duct is located very closely and the formation is highly dependent on specific blood vessels called portal vein, which excrete the natural trigger that we need. Step two, to recapitulate how nectar attract bees, I created artificial portal vein to attract bile duct stem cells. After optimizing the composition, I place it in the core of the organoid. Following gradual release of the nectar from it, bile duct stem cells start to accumulate and form pipe structure surrounding it. My initial data showed that these new methods allows us to build a sustainable and organized bile duct inside organoid, but most importantly, a new hope for babies struggling with bile duct dysfunction. Thank you. Thank you.